you guys remember that scene from the office jisme michael scott drive kar raha hai with the help of a gps and it tells him to turn right even when there is a lake right in front of them dwight is screaming from the passenger side that the gps possibly cannot mean that and michael being michael has blind faith in the gps eventually drives their car into the lake now because it's michael and dwight we we'll consider this the stupidity just laugh at them and move on with our lives ek sense of superiority ke sath no because who is so gullible that they will just believe whatever a robot voice tells them well buckle up because this is exactly what we'll talk about today this manufactured gullibility on ai assisted voice technology how dependent we as society are on it how it impacts our privacy and why it's manipulating our choices even without any of us realizing what's up let's first break down what these voice assistants or digital assistants like alexa siri and google are put simply they are a combination of voice recognition and complex ai powered algorithms when you ask them something simple like what's the temperature in your city it's pretty simple how their technology can simply answer that lekin jab aap unse ye poocho ki alexa what should i watch today then the walking gets more interesting because there is no objective answer to this it's a very personalized question which requires the assistant to collect data about you about your habits about what your friends recommend you in a casual conversation they have to understand who you are as a person and then search the vast amount of content already available on the internet to tell you something that fits your unique taste buds it really is that's why they are like invisible bridges jo aapke chote se chote desires se leke badi se badi demands and whim fulfill karne ka intent rakhte hain alexa stop oye hone te laya si ne angrezi vi ek chakkar pe hai alexa stop ji angrezi nahi aundi fir alexa bahut tang karegi thanu alexa stop when something is supposed to assist you and is marketed as making your life convenient usme na ek natural degree ka trust involved hota hai that's why according to studies over 54% of people rely on these assistants to manage the most private spaces their homes isme se na a lot of people relied on these assistants for the security of their home to matlab ye assistants bahut prevalent hai and they are here to stay we can't deny that but i just want to know does this trade off seem fair to you guys this trade off where you are giving your data to these voice assistants in exchange for their help in your day to day life sounds simple enough but it isn't think of it the way gilpol says in silicon valley about getting people's passwords and breaking security okay he points out once trust is established the social engineer simply offers up information and the subject will reciprocate pet names kid names birthdays now a good thumb of rule here now a good thumb of rule here now a good thumb of rule is that when something is free especially in tech then you are the product these voice assistants don't have the loyalty line with you they're non paying to you words but inko chalane wale banane wale aur bechne wale teen major players hain amazon google and apple so when alexa google assistant and siri coax your information out of you and they'll only develop by gaining and processing more data mind you then you are essentially giving away your data to these major players the catch they store your data for undefined periods even if aise bina specify kare unlimited time ke data store karna violates international privacy standards yahi pe amazon takes it even one step further aapki birthday se leke aapke last health checkup tak ki details inke paas indefinitely stored rehti hain alexa doesn't even delete some of this data unless you specifically ask it to and even then it only deletes some of your audio recordings aur aapka baaki data amazon ke paas indefinitely reh sakta hai in fact when a german citizen asked amazon for his data because it's his right under the europe's gdpr they sent 100 mbs of some stranger's alexa data and amazon ka data this person was nice he informed amazon of the mistake but amazon tried to hide it instead of informing the victim about what they had done with his data at this point this german the guy had enough personal knowledge about this stranger that they were able to personally contact them and told them about this mess up and this stranger he had no idea his privacy had been majorly breached 
But let's face it, even if stuff like this happens to you and it makes you super angry to try and wean off a company's products forever, ultimately, what are your options? These major players have sort of monopolized the market and therefore, even if you want to discard their voice assistance, then their other products infiltrate your life. And for killing competition, these players kind of make you dependent on one product so heavily that you have to accept everything else. क्योंकि ये सब उन्होंने लिंक कर रखा है ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम चाहिए ये लो फ्री कॉल्टाना वॉन्ट न्यू आई फोन ग्रेट नो यूर बी रेडी टू हैव सीरी ऑल ओवर योर पर्सनल लाइफ एंड फॉर आर्ग्यूमेंट से लेट एस से दिस इज द कॉस्ट दैट वी मस्ट बी विलिंग टू पे फॉर प्रोग्रेस आफ्टर ऑल एन ए आई कैन ओनली इम्प्रूव एंड बिकम मोर कन्वीनियंट वेन इन गेट्स अ मोर डिवर्स फुल ऑफ डेटा एंड इंफॉर्मेशन राइट बट इज दिस लॉस ऑफ प्राइवेसी द राइट बार्गेन well not so much you are kind of playing with your privacy and also giving away your choice dekho jab market mein limited number of players ke voice assistant dominant hai to inke answers for your questions are significantly driven by the interests of these players only so when you say hey alexa tell me a good multivitamin for women it's not giving you a neutral answer really it's probably going to recommend some stuff that's already available on amazon prime nudging you to become more dependent on amazon than you already are this becomes really tricky and scary when you couple it with something called behavioral discrimination fancy term hai but simple example dekhte hain when foreigners come to indian markets like pushkar anjana sarojini nagar or somewhere similar to popular wahan ke dukan wale unko higher rates batate hain as compared to locals why that's because they can sense the higher purchasing power and lesser bargaining potential of people who make money in a different country and probably the high value currency now imagine that when you've had a breakup or are having an emotionally rough day and alexa senses this based on your tone the kind of music you're listening to and the conversations you're having around it then it can target that fragility to recommend stuff you are likely to buy because it has your emotional data not only that because it has data on your emotional states purchase history income bracket it can tell you higher prices in its search results because it knows tum wo kharid loge and because just like michael we assume that tech is neutral and smart we believe the one two search results it recommends to us from the millions of options out there but you are being targeted with your emotional data or discriminated against it in terms of your purchasing behavior you will probably never even be able to guess this in simple terms free choice is a myth as these voice assistants become more dominant and start manufacturing your consent they blur the ways without even properly telling you what you are consenting to these are day to day issues but then there are horror stories from across the world for instance alexa ne ek 10 saal ke bacche ko kaha ki wo ja ke phone charger ko socket mein partially dale और उसकी मेटालिक पेनी को उसके एक्सपोज्ड प्रोंग से लगाए इट सजेस्टेड दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट फॉर फन बिकॉज द चाइल्ड एंड हर मदर हैड बीन बोर्ड एंड दिस शॉट सम फन पास टाइम फ्रॉम एलेक्सा हाउ चिल्ड्रन सेफ्टी एंड प्राइवेसी इज इंपैक्टेड बाय दिस डिजिटल असिस्टेंट इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ एथिकल डिबेट दैट एक्सपर्ट्स आर हैविंग ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड दिस वॉइस असिस्टेंट्स आर सो डोमिनेंट एंड सो कन्विंसिंग दैट दे लर्न अस into a false sense of safety and we almost always believe them as authority figures who give us impartial and well informed advice ek dusre incident mein alexa ne ek oregon couple ka private conversation record karke unke contact list mein se kisi ko bhej diya amazon yet again denied accountability and claimed that these people must have done something to wake alexa and then send the message whatever the claim is the fact that this happened shows how murky and unclear their data storage and processing is and since it's so easy for these companies to keep and give away your data governments can even use them for surveillance over citizens which will go on to harm activists journalists and people from marginalized castes genders and races people who are already oppressed and mistreated by the state couple this with the fact ki india mein to koi data protection law bhi nahi hai to keep you safe from possible surveillance and data collection guys 
आई नो दीज डिजिटल असिस्टेंट आर हेल्प टू स्टे लेकिन हमें एक्टिवली रेजिस्ट करना होगा अगेंस्ट द डोमिनेंस ऑफ दीज लिमिटेड कंपनीज इन द मार्केट अदरवाइज we will be forced to accept whatever these monopolies tell us to secondly inke data protection and processing parameters hamare samne saaf hone chahiye hame pata hona chahiye ki hamare data ko ye log kaise istemal kar rahe hain and finally whatever the case is just try to think of it this way will you ever trust a human assistant who works for someone else and literally gains no profit from you except your most valuable asset your data with tons of information privacy intimacy and vulnerability that you trust these digital assistants with thoda skepticism aapki privacy ke liye acha hai warna michael scott ki gaadi ki tarah hamari puri life puri privacy aur hamari society bhi lake mein jaake doob jayegi just because a robot voice told us to believe in it hey alexa play music Here's Spotify.